Hi, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how you can set up a home network with IoT devices in a Cisco Packet Tracer. So we're going to start off with putting in each of our little areas for our networks. So you want to come into end devices down to wireless and you want to drag in a home gateway. So we're going to name this one security first, called home security. So this is going to be our first gateway. So we're going to pop it maybe down here and we need to drag in some security devices for this one. So you want to come up into end devices and across to home. And here is where all your IoT devices are. So for home security, let's give it a door, a garage door. And you'll see they'll automatically start connecting up. We're going to put in a motion detector, another motion detector. Um, a siren and I think that's mostly it for um, what you could put in for security so I think we might leave it at that for the security one we've got all of our security devices here so let's move on to the next step so before we move on to putting in our next one of these because otherwise every other device we put will connect automatically to this one we need to set up our router so you want to come back over to network back into wireless again and you want to drag in the WRT300N. So we're going to pop these closest to center and then we're going to come over and choose automatic connection and we're going to get this connected up. So now this will automatically work um, so if you click into the router we've got connection 0-0 it's automatically set up 0 0.1. You don't actually have to go in and set up on the wireless router. It's really nice. So if we then open up this, so our default setting is 25.1 and we now have this device set up and working. So we should now be able to move on to adding in more devices. So let's try. So before we move on to adding in more IoT devices, say you want to add in a laptop so that you can manage the devices as you add them in. Let's add a laptop. Now the laptop by default won't connect. You have to come in here and turn it off, drag out this piece and drag in a new one and turn it back on. And now it should automatically connect up. Yep, there you go. So it's automatically connected up to our home router. Um, and an easy way instead of having to change it each time you can just come in here and go copy and paste um, you could use that with the keyboard but you can also copy and paste up there and that should connect up yep so let's move on to adding in our next IOT part of our home devices so I'm just going to add a text over this first because it's kind of been blocked off so we've got home security so we now want to move on to adding in, let's say, our kitchen and living room. So we want to come back into home devices and we want to grab in another, let's put it up here, another gateway. So this one is going to be called kitchen home living. Yeah. Um, and I might put it down like this actually and then put the devices above it this time. So first up, we're going to connect it to our router and then we're going to come over and start adding in our devices. So maybe we should have a, a carbon monoxide detector. I'm not actually sure what they even do. Um, let's add in a fan, a light and see how they're automatically connecting up to this one now. So you get able to, you know, work in for your next one. Um, let's not put in the music. Let's see. Thermostat could be handy. I'm sure. We can put in a window. And mm, we maybe should probably put in a coffee maker because everyone needs coffee of a morning. So we now have our home living set up. We should click into this and check config, LAN, and we really should change this to be 75. 
because that ensures these devices get a new uh, connection. So if you click into these and we come over to config, we now got 75. So we might have to actually rechange these because we didn't set it up beforehand. But that's fine, so we know that when we move on to the next one. So we're just setting the default gateway here so it's correct. So if you come into wireless, you've got the correct gateway in there. So I'll finish setting this up and I'll be right back. So we're just going to add in one more wireless home gateway and this is going to be um, home power. And we're just going to drag onto this a solar panel, let it connect up, just really didn't put in our cable connection, there we go, um, and we need to change this. Mm, then. We'll set it to be 125 and click into this uh, static DHCP. It's fixed itself. So now we've got our home power managed, like we're watching our home power. So this is pretty much how you can set up your IoT devices. So for example, we could drag in a couple more devices, like we can add in a printer add in a printer you've got to change out to be the wireless port so you'll have your own home printer you can do the same on a PC you turn it off scroll down you drag out this and add in the wireless port turn it back on again and it will connect itself um, so that is how you can set up your own network add in your wireless devices and have your own managed IOT devices